Spacecraft, welcome. Welcome to those old subscribers that have been with me for a very long time and to all those new ones that have joined us lately. Got the plane going overhead and I've got nervous hiccups again. You think after all these years I wouldn't get the nervous hiccups. The subscriber count has really been climbing. I'm currently at 1,937 and I'd really like to get to 2,000 in the near future because I will do a giveaway. With me going to Europe and the UK, I'd be able to collect some really nice yarn from London, Prague, hopefully Vienna, Munich, wherever we travel to, I'm going to be looking for some yarn to put in the 2000 subscriber giveaway. So yes, let's hope we make it in the next four to five weeks. So I have some finished objects, not very many to show you an acquisition and some thrift shopping that was an absolute bargain. We'll get started shortly, won't be a moment. So my first item I wanted to put on because it's something I've made for myself to wear in the UK. My first finished project is my knitted mittens. Ta -da! I knitted a pair of mittens. These really caught my eye because you knit rib to the end but it can also fold down like that so you can still use your fingers and I thought these would be great crafting mittens for when it's a bit cool they're only done in a four ply look I do feel the cold today is about 26 celsius which is about 78 nearly 79 fahrenheit and I have slippers on and I'm feeling the cold because I'm a girl from the tropics. So yes, I made myself a knitted pair of mittens. My first knitted mittens ever. I have crocheted knit mittens for charity, but I've never knitted a pair. And these were so easy and I really enjoyed it. And I like the challenge of making the thumb gussets. I'll just take them off. So the pattern is a free pattern on Ravelry. Now as per past videos, all patterns, tutorials, descriptions, um, channels mentioned will be in the description box below. Sorry about the aeroplane traffic. It's a beautiful sunny day, lovely weather, and um, the airport is like Grand Central Station at the moment. So here's a picture of the pattern. Warm and simple pattern by Chimpy and the Woolies. Ta da And that's what caught my eye. No, I don't have a Nintendo Switch. But I do like these mittens and I really enjoyed making them. So I made them with the Pantanile that I bought. I had one skein and I bought some more. And it knits really well. It is really nice. It's Pantanile Artistry in the purple mix. This will go with my coat really well. And the reason I bought more is I am going to be making a cowl. Well, I've actually started it. I looked at several patterns, but nothing caught my eye that I wanted, how I want it. So I'm attempting to make up my own cowl pattern. I've done the front bit first. I will do the back bit, then the neck. I'll show you if it works out. I have been making pattern notes because I'd really like to share it if it turns out really well. And so that's what I've been working on. And it's about a week and a half before I go to the UK. So I'll be frantically working on the cowl this week. Now, the other finished objects I've been working on are for Michelle's Makery in New Zealand. If you're not subscribed to her channel, please check her out and subscribe. She does great content on amigurumi and all sorts of things. And yes... As one would say, she has all the things. Check her out. So she put a call out in a video. Um, her workplace, and she works sort of similar to what I do, but she is, I think, from what I gather, there her workplace is doing a big thing for mental health um, month. And basically they're going to be teaching people how to crochet and they'll have fidget toys on hand to give to people. And she asked for crochet hooks but in special sizes 3.5 4 millimeter and 4.5 and if people would like to send her hold crochet hooks she would appreciate it 
I gave away a lot of crochet hooks last year, but I still have two in my craft supplies. And um, this is a crochet hook. I don't even know who it. It's got. It's still in the packet. It's 3.5 millimeter. So there's that one I'll send to her. I have a Semco crochet hoop for 4.5-15 centimeters long in the packet. I have a feeling people have given me these and I've never used them because I really like my Clover and Wars, my Clover Soft Touch and the Tulip Hooks. But these will be good for beginners. Um, and yes, I would have liked to have sent her more but right now I can't seem to come put my hands on any more in these sizes. I have, however, made some fidget toys. Now, if you watch my last video, I will put that in a card up top so you can go back and watch it. I made a African flower hexagons for a pillow and I had some left over. I had 20, but in my craft supplies, because I wasn't going to race out and buy some, I had those clicky hair clips. So I folded over my African flowers and now... They are fidget toys. Ta -da! The clips I had had little holes each end, so I stitched them into place with cotton so they wouldn't move around, and they're in there, and that's just sealed off at the top. So there you have it. I have 10 of these to send to her because I had 10 clips. And I had a few worry worms in my um, stock already that I hadn't put faces on. And she did say something about she wasn't putting eyes on her because you really don't know the age of the people getting them and they could be children and that would be a hazard. So here are some of my worry worms. Ta -da. I've made it. There's a blue one, a red one. And I did make a few more in different colours. So there are ten worry worms. I may come up with something else. I have to post it by this Friday coming because I will be going overseas. I think she needs them about mid to the end of September, but please check out her channel. And if you do have some crochet hooks in those sizes or some fidget toys you'd like to send it, please do. Mental health week is really important to me. I, when I was quite young, I lost a young female friend to suicide and um, she left a message on my phone answering machine when we had answering machines and I was the last person she spoke to. And my brother committed suicide and it's the not knowing and not realising they're in trouble. So mental health awareness is really important. I think World Mental Health Day is October the 8th. So keep that in mind. Now the other thing was 15th of August was International Granny Square Day. Did you make any granny squares? Well, it inspired me to finish my hip to be square blanket or get towards finishing it. I just needed a couple of squares to make it the size I need to donate to a local charity. So they're not granny squares, but they were squares I did on International Granny Square Day. So I made a green with light green, a purple with variegated blue one and a green with navy blue these will these four will finish off the size of my blanket i have started joining them and when i put a border around it i'll show you when it's finished but yes let me know in the comments did you make squares for international granny square day i enjoyed hip to be square um it is going to the end of the year but i'm not a great square maker i i can get frustrated with them so I'm glad this one's been spaced out and I won't be rushing it to put it together to have a finished object. I'll do it a leisurely place, probably when I come back. So my acquisition. I had to go into Spotlight, which has yarn, fabric, homewares, to buy something for the home. But I can't resist walking down the yarn aisle just to have a look. I'm not going to buy. And yes. I bought some yarn. Not very much, but it was the colourway that caught my eye. And I've never really bought a lot of mill ends, but I bought this mill ends in this really lovely, it was these colours that caught my eye. They're kind of crazy. Nice and bright, 400 grams. It feels lovely and soft. 
So we'll see how it goes when I crochet it up. I probably will make an amigurumi or a yip yip with it because it's lovely and colourful. Now the beauty of this is Millen bags like this normally sell for about $12 but on the day I was there there was a VIP card holder special of me and I got it for $10. So I did buy some yarn. It's the colours. I can't help the colours. The other thing I bought thrift shopping was I saw this and I thought it would be really handy on my craft store. I've got to be careful about keep buying stuff for the craft store because I'm going to have more stuff on it than I'm not. And it was this. It was like this pegboard or letter board I found. Complete kit. Now it's not that bright in there I'll show you. I have to be careful because the bag of letters, they're all the letters, it's all complete, are there, it's first to open, and that's the board. All this was only $5 from a charity shop, thrift shop, Goodwill store, whatever you want to call them, and I thought that was a bargain. A sealed box for a letter board that I can find a good use for. So that was one charity shop. I actually thought I'd check out crochet hooks, see if there were any there in the sizes we want, pay a minimal amount and send them to Michelle. Four charity shops, not one crochet hook in sight, not in any size. Lots of knitting needles and all the ladies in the shop said the crochet hooks go like that. They're barely on the shelf two minutes before they're gone. So I never found any in the charity shop because I thought oh, I'll find a few there and I'll just add to it. However, because there are a lot of knitting items, I did find this, which is a metal stitch holder, and it's quite a long one. I haven't seen them before. It's called Large 172 millimeters. Now, I do a lot of knitting, and I do blankets and shawls, and sometimes I need a stitch holder that's a bit bigger than what I have, and this was an absolute bargain. They're usually anywhere between 5 to $7.00. And I got this for a dollar. Brand new in the packet stitch holder from a craft shop. Oh, sorry, charity shop. Another Goodwill shopping day. The bargain of my thrift shopping. Absolute bargain. Now, I do a lot of amigurumis now. Not as many as some, but I do do them. And the most expensive part of an amigurumi is the fiber fill for me. Buying fiber fill, I have to wait for it to be on special to try and make it bargain worthy but I was in a thrift shop close to home and I found this Ta -da! A kilo, and there is a kilo a kilo bag of hobby fill it's lovely and clean it doesn't smell they've resealed the top because it's obviously burst but yes a kilo of hobby fill now that would normally cost me $27 brand new what do you think I paid my son said, oh, I don't know, about 10 bucks. $3. $3 for a kilo of fiber fill from a Lifeline charity shop. Absolute bargain. I like it when the charity shops don't overcharge. There's been a few near my work that I go in and I go up to them and say, you're actually selling the yarn that's been donated to you dearer than I can buy it at the box store spotlight. You need to look at your pricing. Some of them get greedy, but not this one. This was awesome, and it's up the road from my home. So yes, in a shopping area. They were my bargains from thrift shopping. I hope to do some thrift shopping in Europe and London, because you find some really unique items over there that I don't find here. So that's pretty much it for me. I do have a question for you, though. Like, you know, I went through my whips and was trying to finish some of them and because of life, things have got in the way and I haven't been able to. When I count my whips, I don't include blankets. They're like a separate side project when I do, when I can't be bothered working on a special whip. Do you include your blankets in your total whip count? Let me know in the comments below. Or they just decide item you pull out when you feel like doing something. For me this week and the last couple of weeks it's been a lot of running around with Reeves waiting at appointments, waiting to pick him up and sitting in the car 
and I decided I'd start a blanket. I put it on Instagram because I thought, why not? I can always use a blanket for charity. Ta-da, here it is. Then I realized when I got home, I have four blankets on the go that I need to finish. One was definitely started for crochet for cancer. Probably the other two were, I can't remember, or some charity, because they generally get donated to charity. So my next video, I'm going to talk to you about blankets. And don't die of shock, I'm going to show you my blanket whips, all four of them. Now I've decided today, because I've sort of got my suitcase out and working out, that my traveling project will be a blanket. And I'll explain to you in the next video what that's about. There'll also be a bit of a surprise in there and a bit of a challenge to join me in making a blanket while I'm on holidays. So make sure you watch the next video. I hope to do maybe one or two before I go overseas. And when I'm overseas, you never know. If I've got good internet, I may do a video or a short and pop up and show you what we're up to. It won't be all yarn shopping. I do intend to sightsee and have a great time with my eldest son. But there you go. Let me know. Are blankets in your whip count or they're just a side project that sits on a shelf and you grab one when you're feeling you need to do some. Blankets are easy when I'm in the car waiting. Sometimes I could be waiting five minutes. Sometimes I could be waiting an hour. So I find taking a blanket whip with me at the moment is perfect. So guys, that's it for my crafting life this week. Not a lot of big finished objects to blow you away with. I really love my mittens. I hope you like them. And um, yes, I'm proud of myself that I made my first pair of knitted, mitting, mit, knitted mittens. Okay, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you have one crafty day this week. Bye for now.